Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I want to do a short video today. I am sliming the tubes on my electric XP bike. I'm not going to really show you. I'm, I'll show you briefly on my second bike how I'm doing this. I actually started this yesterday on my black one and I came into a problem which is really why I want to show you guys. Uh, when you're, and I'm learning all this as I go because I've never done this before. When you're doing this, there are times that your valve gets clogged or your tube gets clogged. And I had only put maybe one ounce of this in and somehow it clogged the tube in my uh, back tire. So uh, I'm just gonna show you guys what I did to unclog it, uh, what I did uh, to kind of fix the situation. So here's the uh, tube, I already took this out. I'm gonna go over what exactly happened. Like I said, I had put in about an ounce of the uh, slime in it and then for some reason it wouldn't keep going in so come to find out uh it was clogged up right there at the uh, very bottom and it happened fairly quick so i'm not sure why that happens so quickly uh when you're doing this i was able to get the front wheel done no issue with that but then uh, i started researching on how to fix this and then according to the slime website they want you to use like a uh, cotton swab which i already threw away with uh, water to see if that'll work and that didn't work i read in a couple of forums uh some other ways of doing it uh, and i really didn't want to use one of my extra tubes that i've already bought for my bike i wanted to see if i could you know save this one uh what i ended up doing was i grabbed a metal skewer and i heated the tip up on the stove and then i went in there and just gently poked it poked it poked it and it unclogged it so it worked really well and now I am about to put this one back on in the bike. What sucks is that I had to go ahead and take everything off from the bike, uh, the back. But at least this tube is still working, no issues. And then I'm going to continue sliming it. So I'll just show you guys how I uh, do that. Also, guys, I wanted to show you this little uh, tool that I bought. It's a uh, Singer. I'll, I'll link it down below for you guys to check out. It's the valve core tool for the uh schrader and the press the valve core so you can you have it on each end and it brings some uh extra valve cores in there for you with some caps uh i think 12.99 i believe on amazon anyways i use this to uh take the uh, valve out of the uh, tube here because the one that comes with the the slime bottle broke it just didn't work really work so i ended up buying this one Something that you need to do before you take out your valve is position your bike with the up, upper half, with the valve on the upper half facing up, upward. In other words, you want this, your valve, you want it on the upper half. You don't want it down here. You don't want it down here. And I think that's what I did on the back wheel earlier because on the front one, I had my valve up to the side here like at 11 o'clock. So first things first, you're gonna put your valve core tool, tool in and take the valve out and let the, uh, the tire completely deflate. The bottle's marked. I have right, I have eight ounces left and that's exactly how much you're putting in on, on this bike. Make sure you check for your bike what your, uh, the amount is. On this e-bike, on my electric XP, I need eight ounces. So basically I'm just gonna put this in here. I'm gonna connect the tube. I'm gonna connect my tube like that. And then I'm just gonna squeeze it squeeze it all in See there and since I know I only had eight ounces left that's exactly the amount that I need I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in also before you actually uh, put the slime in make sure if you have a nail or anything in the tire that you pull that out so now we're gonna put our, our valve back in and we're gonna pump some air in it and then we're gonna spin the wheel to make sure it spreads out even. All right, you guys can see I have uh, replaced my valve in there. It's in there, the valve core's in there. And now we're gonna put some air in it. Or before you pump the air in, make sure the, the tire is lined up properly and seated well. Uh, you wanna check closely around the rim on both sides to make sure it's not out of place. So okay. I have put 20 PSI there. I want to keep it around 20 PSI. And now we're going to spin the, the wheel. Just make sure everything's all right. This will help the slime spread equally as well. Evenly, I should say. We're going to do that for a little bit. 
and that's that. That's how you slime your uh, tubes, and uh, very easy. Uh, I was a little hesitant at first because I don't know. I, I look what happened. My my valve got clogged, but thankfully I found a way to fix that. Uh, if you can't figure it out, just take it to your local bike shop. Uh, that wasn't an option for me. And my local bike shop right now are man, they're booked all the way for like two weeks. So even to see me for for something that little. But uh, yeah, hope you found some value here. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and I'm gonna have some more videos coming up. Stay tuned, see you in the next one. Peace.